Hello, my crafty friends. It's Krista here from Second Chance Creation. How are you all? I've just put the video on. I'm doing a bit of crafting. Um, I've been making lots of ephemera um, for my next projects. And I just thought I'd come on and um, share with you what I've done. Lots of goodies. It might inspire you. A lot of you probably do this anyway, but um, I just thought I'd just put the camera on and just show you what I've got or what I've made. And, um, yes, because I'm sort of running out of my ephemera stash. And um, so today has been sort of like half a day crafting, which is great because I did a bit of gardening this morning and, yeah, you know, we all do the things that we've got to do and then you can have a way to get in here. So um, I'll just share with what, what I've done. Um, I got some of these slides from, from Bonnie I purchased a while ago, from Bonnie and Clive. I'm going to leave um, Bonnie's channel link below in the description box. So if there's anybody I mentioned, um, I'll put them in the description box below. And please excuse my big band-aids on my hands. Um, my dermatitis is flaring up and when I wear gloves in my garden, it just aggravates it. So I've had to leave, I've got a special cream, I've got to leave these on for about three or four days. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I've been um, altering some of these film slides. And what I've used is, um, now where's my envelope? Here it is, Let's look at my little heart away here. These ones, and you get these from the stamps when you take your stamps off and you've got whatever's on there on this sheet. And a lot of them um, are actually cut out and put the stamps in a different uh, different place. So, and that's what I've done. And I've actually popped them in a film slide and that way it sees you and you can see them on both sides. And I'll show you um, what they look like. I've made this little um, envelope. It's a bit bulgy now, and that's actually, um, it's like um, waxed, yeah, like waxed wrapping paper. I try to wax it, actually, in my iron, and it melted it, so I think there's something else in here. And, um, but I've tried to emboss it. It doesn't come up really that good because I've embossed this piece here. So I thought I might as well use it to make pockets and envelopes and such so just bear with me I'm just going to go on here and make sure just so that I can see everyone's comments just going to mute that okay so yeah so what I've done is I'll show you I'll put this back in here and so can you see me yes you can so um what i've done is i've actually take took the slides apart just let me make sure that i'm on the camera properly oh yes and can you see the butterfly I'll bring it up a bit closer Okay. Can you see the butterfly? Now, either way, you'll see it. How cool is that? So um, I'm going to try to put an eyelet in there, but I don't like my chances because it's quite thick and I don't have um, eyelets that are that, you know, that big to be able to put through there. So what I've done... Is I've got another one, the bird's nest. Okay, so can you see that? And then I've put a little word arranged. It looks pretty arranged. I have this little bird stamp, and I've popped that on there. And I've put a brad through here because I was I was I was able to make my um, um, hole with the all, and then put the little green brad in. And then I can attach that to my next 
future or future projects. But yeah, isn't that a good idea? So I'm going to utilize some of these. I probably can't use most of them, but you know, you can um, probably use some flowers, and I've got a, um, some bows. So yeah, so I thought, oh, absolutely, now I can use these, and because um, it's very hard to get little photos. I've got some, but mostly of horses. And um, but yeah, so how cool is that? And I've only really got to put in one in here, and that was the original one that just goes in here and is shut. Okay, and I've got a little key, and I've popped a little stamp on the on here as well. So okay, so yeah, so try it um i don't know how you ladies store um the stamps whether you put them back some of them i do and some of them i don't the bigger ones once i've used them i clean them and then um just put them in a container and then i'm left with the plastic so and i use some of the um the bigger ones like this one i will be using as a tuck spot in a journal okay so i can make that into a tuck spot and just pop something behind there so that looks really pretty doesn't it so that's what i'm using these for and of course when i found this envelope because i've been looking for it um i thought i'm going to experiment with with my slides i mean how cool is that just bear with me i'm just gonna have a look at this computer not doing what's supposed to be doing so i hope you are all well and no, it's not happening. Okay. All right. So, so that's that. And of course, um, you know, you do you do get carried away, don't you? Um, well, I I got carried really carried away. I've been making little envelopes. This is actually waxed wrapping paper, and. It looks like this. You would have seen on one of my videos, previous video, uh, quite a while ago, how I wax them with uh, warm iron and um, candle wax. This one I used lavender, and it still smells lavender, and that's quite a few months ago. So, and I've made a little envelope with that, and in here I've um, popped in all my little little envelopes that I've been making because of, like I said, I need some ephemera, and um you know really tiny tiny little envelope with a really tiny tiny little tag a little bit of um applique some you just fold out okay and this one is the inside of a real envelope and i've just closed that up because that's for collage here is a um you know little post and you can close that up this is one that you can open and it unfolds and that's the inside of the envelope. So I've used the outside there and that's that inside of the envelope. So you can, you know, journal in this one. I've put some really secret messages on there. Um, here is um, this really thick vellum um, piece that I had and I've cut that up and made little tickets and popped them in there. And then I just used a little cut-out heart as a closure. So I had fun making this, all fiddly stuff, but sometimes you've got to have a bit of a break. And I'm just going to have a look to see if I can see anybody here that's joined me. Just bear with me, folks. Channel. I'm still new at this. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So I might just have my cup of tea. Sorry. So, yeah, so when you've got scraps like this, like I have here, pretty easy. Everybody knows how to make these. You know, you just fold them, cut them, keep them open, or you can just keep folding it until, you know, you've used it all up and then maybe possibly fold it and then do your little point, cut it, Yes, and I think they're really cool. So I've made quite a few, as you can see. I've got a bit carried away here. And all of my scraps of paper. 
Here I've actually used a piece of vellum that had a lot of hearts on it and I cut one of the hearts out. This is a postage stamp um, decoupage that on. It's got a tiny little booklet in here, okay. And that just goes back in here and that just tucks in just in here on the, the hearts. Here I've made a little collage of envelopes that will go on a page and maybe be a tuck spot. Like I said, everyone makes these, but I had so much fun making these little things. These ones will open up. So, And that was um, writing paper, and I just used the corner of that writing paper, which is part of this. And here is another big one. So, yeah, so I've just, that's what I've been doing here. And I'll just go back in here, just like that. And then, of course, I put them back in here. And, of course, when I made um, this envelope, you know, that's going to go in a journal, but in the meantime, I've just popped all the little envelopes in there so I don't lose them. And, of course, it's all decorated. Here I've used, you all know, the Miller's tags. I made a paper clip, water paper clip. I just did a bit of collage and um, put one a bit of um, cheesecloth and one of my little envelopes on there and that's going to go, you know, can go on a book page. And here I've used, you know, this wrapping paper so I've got so much of that I can probably use in a journal, you know, as a page where you can, um, you need to sew it on or use glitter glue. It's the only glue that will um, stick to it. So here I've made a little bag out of it. And here's one of my flowers from the garden that I dried and I've popped it in a little plastic sleeve sewn around it and I'm using that as a front. Okay, and I've just fussy cut out this little um, pretty little girl from a, um, from a book of pages that I had that's just about gone. Used a bit of this beautiful blue seam binding, and yes, I did buy this, and I had to buy it because I just love the colour. And this is so I embossed this, and as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but the embossing really didn't come out on this paper. It's really weird paper. I've never come across it. And on here, I've used some. Um, I think it's vellum. It was gifted to me by a family member in Queensland, and I actually embossed that and put it through the embossing folder, <clears throat> stitched it, and then I went over a little bit with a bit of pink just to pick up the pink in here, but I left the closure quite plain. Put that back in there so I know where it is. And here I've made a little belly band cluster with all the envelopes. So you'd have to, there's only one that can sort of partly open. And there's only one that you can pop some tickets in if you wish. Okay, all the rest are closed and I've just put them on a strip of paper and that will go on a journal page. So how cool is that? Yeah, so I, I do these, fold these up when I um, watch TV or something, which is really very rare. And then, of course, when I had this, I've made a, a bag and um, that's going to go into a journal as well and I'll probably be a, like a, a flip, okay? And I've just popped on some coffee dyed um, scrapbooking paper and I fussy cut this shoe out of my magazine. I really like this one. And then I use the, the um, what I've cut off on the bottom here just to strengthen it. And, and I've got this journaling card that I've made up I had a, I've got a punch that makes that fancy edging around, and I had some photos from a magazine with those um, that colour in it. The Call of the Wild. Do they look like wild women to you? No, no, maybe not. Maybe, maybe they're just having a wild night out. I don't know, but it just fits nicely in there with that green shoe. So yeah, so I've been busy. Just let me have a look and see if I've got anybody here. Oh hi, Siobhan. Yes, I can see you. Hi, hi. Pojo, how are you going? All right, so I'm just busy chatting away. I'm just sharing some of my um, projects I've made. 
And, um, yeah, so I've been sort of um, just taking a break from um, making big projects mainly because I had no choice because I'm running out of ephemera. So here I've got some postcards that I've made. I just um, printed this out, oh, God, ages ago, just on paper. And um, and I glued that onto my, um, I don't know what you call it, like a mixed media thing. It was an old calendar and I just covered it with napkins and stamps and uh, stamping and uh, splashes of colour and made a postcard out of that. And here's a coffee dyed map. And I just covered again. This was coffee dyed paper that I printed this on, and I stuck it to this again. That was a big um, calendar, and I just decoupaged it in Tim Holtz little there yeah, under the skies of midnight blue. They might be going on a honeymoon, aren't they? So that <laughs> oh, the mind just goes crazy sometimes. Okay, and here for my little booklet. And this is all for my next, actually for my next journal. And um, this is a die cut and I've got three sizes. It was all gifted to me by my friend, in, by me, actually a cousin from Queensland, which is fantastic. And I just made um, one so that it's, you know, double and uh, like a little cover, a little snippet from a magazine, doily, just from a magazine, what a moment, and just use scraps of paper. Okay, again, it's the same paper that I use um, for those little letters. It's got that little um, flower on it. But they're, they're really cute to pop in any sort of pocket. Um, I do have a pocket here where I have it, even in here, because that's where it was in the beginning, just in there like that. But now I've got it because I made so many bits and pieces, I didn't want to lose them. And I'm sorry if I don't see everybody. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So, and then I've made, um, everybody's been making this cabinet card. Never knew what cabinet cards were. And um, I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. So I used my die cuts and had some of these um, pictures left from when I did the um, journal with the, with the dolls. So I used um, book pages. That I glued together, about three of them, and that's the back of a book page that I used. And um, I did a bit of gessoing, just to hide some of the words, and then I used a bit of the tatting on the edges. And I've left this because I'm going to put seed beads on here. I like to leave my strings now and put seed beads because I've got so many, I like to use them up. So that's what they call a cabinet card. I don't know what, you know. Yes, anyway, so here's another one. Here I've made my own little book corners with a little, um, little um, punch, circle punch. And I'm yet to look at your video, um, Siobhan, because you mentioned that um, you made yours as well. So I've got to pop over and have a look how you make yours. These are just folded in half. And I'm thinking of actually then cutting a whole heap of these out and putting through the embossing folder and then they're all embossed. So that'll look pretty cool too. Again, I've left a lot of string. And here I've made, I've had this frame, I think it's like a foam frame, and, um, yeah, I just jazzed it up. And this is actually wrapping paper and I've had that for about five years, believe it or not, and I've still got some pieces left, so I'm going to use this for... Um, some of my photos. So, yeah, so um, this is a envelope from Energex Electricity Company, which I recycle, which is, uh, have I got it with me? I have to copy that, that one, which is this one, I think. Okay. And so I've put that on there and I've put one of those little hearts on. They look like long time lovers. Okay, so they can. Write a secret message in there. It just goes in here. And then, of course, I made a tuck spot. It's not finished yet. A little card that just goes in there. And, of course, in the card, there should be another card. No, not yet. And I'm going to make another um, tag that goes in here as well. So you've got 
two lots and that just so that's not finished yet but you know work in progress here i've had this huge envelope with that lovely i just love that color blue um and even that seam binding i'm just having a look now getting off the track will look nice yeah okay um so i've used the um envelope and i used a book page to strengthen it and I did a bit of collage just to hide some of the writing and that and but on the on this side because most of the time when I make the journals I have something opening this way this time I'm going to have something opening that way which is a little bit different and just use some scrap paper some napkin and I've put her in the window of the envelope and I've cut out the plastic clips and made it look really sort of raggedy and um Yes, yeah, so and then I just a doily, um, just some cluster of one of my roll row of flowers, and then one of these ribbon flowers that you can, you know, the pre made one. I didn't make them, I only made this one. So, yes, yeah, so that's you know, that's going to be nice just to tuck in somewhere in the journal. And as you make the corners of your cabinet cards, oh, sorry, Persia, um. With the circle punch, I'll show you. Let me see if I get a piece of paper. I've got lots of paper here. You wouldn't think so, would you? So I just cut them out because you need double for each corner, of course. And what I do then is I just, um, you know, do your little inking around. I won't do them all, I'll just show you this one. We all know how to ink. And then I'll just take this off because this is just made a time card here. And what then you do is you fold that in half, Persia. It's like that. What I do is at night time when I've got them when I make some, I just um let me put that away so you can see. Um you know, this is all stuff I like to do when I'm, when I'm away and I'm visiting people and I'm staying there. And then you've just got to make sure you glue it onto the corner, right? There like that, okay? You can't have it up here or too far down, right at the corner. And then you get your other one and you do that as well and that's how it comes, okay? Do you ever be able to follow me there? That's so pretty easy, and you can use it with any sort of paper, really. Um, but like I said, I'm going to put them through the embossing file a whole lot, and then they'll be embossed, and they might look really cool. So that's how I made them, okay? Right, that's that one. And then I've made a huge tag. This could is going to be a bookmark, and I just really like this. This was... Um, Ah, from a really thick magazine. Oh, thank you, um, Persia. I actually got this idea from um, Aristi. Um, I don't know whether you remember Aristi. Aristi's um, not make not making very many videos at all at the moment. I've tried to contact her, but um, I haven't been able to grab hold of her on Messenger just to make sure she's okay. She she's in Greece. So, and that's um, that's where I got this idea from. So it's not my idea. It was um, from, Arista, from Aristi. So that's a, um, going to be a bookmark. And then I've just made this altered time card and it's going to go, I've just sort of discoloured it with my stamp and I wanted a little bit of pink in it, um, green in it because of the green, so I wanted to follow it through. And I've just folded it over about two inches and I've just, um, you know, did some scruffy bits and I found this beautiful mint tulle. Um, yeah, I don't know where I I've, where I've got it from because I don't think I've got any left. So that would make a nice journal too, mint and pink. So, yes, and that goes over a book page, okay? So, for instance, that's a book page. And then I use either a little paper clip or a little matching book clip just to hold it onto the book page if I wish. Don't have to. Okay. 
and then on the back you can you know journal on that so um great way to use that up okay that's that one and then Aristi from Greece yes that's it she hasn't been um, doing many videos at all now so um, I used to um, be able to talk to her on messenger but um, I just can't get hold of it and then I've got this huge dictionary with so many dictionary paper and I'm always losing my bits and pieces and I'm getting a shoe got a shoe box now where they all stack up and I've made little envelopes and you know assembled cabinet cards so i've made when you you know when you start you just keep going don't you so these are yet to be finished but what i've used here i don't know if you can see it but this is actually fabric okay so i peeled the paper off this was gifted to me i peeled the paper off and actually attached it you see the fabric here that just looks see-through doesn't it um but once you cover it up you won't be able to see through it so, yes, yeah, so th these are all sort of in the making, you know, um, and because I, when I cut that out, I had that left over, so that's going to be a matching tag of some sort. I've got this funny little clip here. So, of course, I went mad, didn't I? Did all sorts of things here. So they're just, yeah, I'll just use pictures. I just thought what a great idea, but at least now if I've got them, I've got some of my stash and it doesn't, um, take me long to um, make something but isn't this lovely and that's what inspired um, me with this one the, the mint and the um, um, pink and that gorgeous so yeah so that's what I've been doing and that's another one of my from my last um, previous journals and this one here so yes yeah, so that's so i've made myself a little pocket here and that way i will not lose it okay and then of course what else were you were were you here did you see my um the beginning um Persia, were you here in the beginning um where I've made the altered film slides. Did you see that? Where I've used the um, stamps. Okay, all right. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. We're making lots of bits and pieces. Oh, you didn't see it. Okay, I'll show you. Where are we? Where did I put them? Got to find them now. Just bear with me. Oh, here they are. Okay, you know when we use the stamps, and when you, I don't know how everybody stores theirs, but I take a lot of my little ones off and some of my big ones and I have them in a box and they're, I clean them all the time and I basically know what they are. And what I do is I keep the part that's got the imprint on it, like this little bird here, okay? So what I've done is with the previous one that I had, let's put him back before I lose him, I'll put him in a box after. I've actually taken those slides apart that I got from Bonnie, from Bonnie and Clive, okay? You separate them. I used a plastic one which just unclips. It just unclips. Yeah, here it is. Okay, you take that away. You can probably use You can use this as well. And this one I had to take apart very carefully. Um, even though they're old, it was hard to come apart it's cardboard but I got there so I've made this little envelope of course with wrapping paper and look at this I put a butterfly in there doesn't that look cool so um yes yeah, so I'll be able to utilize those only small ones because you can only put small um you know pictures in it 
And then I was, and I was going to put an eyelid in there, but I don't have anything strong enough to go punch through there. So um, this is just going to go in envelope, which I've made just here. Okay. Like that. But then I made another one with a bird's nest. Can you see that? Well, that's a great way to use that. I don't know how you store your clear stamps. Like I said, I take a lot of them off once I've used them because they're a real pain to stay back on there. And then I actually use the imprint on this. So now I'm going to use them in the slide. And then, of course, I just um, put some music notes on there. And that little bird is that little bird I've got just here. And I've stamped it on there. But I used a brad for this one. Then I'll know I can attach it to something. So, um, uh, great looking. Never thought of that. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> the prints, yeah. Because it's see through. So you can, you know, either side. You can't use the wording because the wording then will be back to front. So that's no good. So, you know, and these are the ones that I use. They're, they're obviously, oh, a bit of tatting. They're obviously too big, but. They make great tuck spots. Just glue them down and I use um, the glitter glue because it's the only thing that holds them down and that can be a tuck spot so I keep the big ones. So yes, and the wording of course you can use as well. I've got a dragonfly, little corner and you know this flower here you can use. I'll show you. Okay, I mean, how cool would that be if that was in there in the slide decorated? Okay, can you see that? How cool is that? So, yeah, so that's how I use them because I don't have enough things, small things, apart from lots of horses, of course, to put in these slides. And um, so, yeah, so I thought I'd come up with this little brainwave. I don't know if anybody else out there uses that, but. That's how I make my little, use my slides now. I mean, I've only got a dozen of them, but that's, you know, a dozen I really want to use up. So I reckon that's a pretty cool idea, eh? So there you go. So that's, I might put that back in here. It's not supposed to go in here, but that way I know where it is. Now, what else? Uh, were you here when I did the wrapping paper? Persia. I've got this wrapping paper that I waxed with the candle wax and it comes out really, really nice and it still smells. And I just did a, this is going to be a flip in a journal, just fussy cut out a shoe. And then I've got these two girls and um, the Call of the Wild and they just go in here. And I'm keeping all my long strings because I'm going to thread my seed beads through it. I knew it. <laughs> Good on you, Fraser. <laughs> Is it snowing your way? You must. It must be um, still snowing up there. What else is that? And then I've made, of course, I've made all my little tinsy envelopes. See, I've been, I've gone really mad with little envelopes. But you know, when you need ephemera, at least then I've got it. And little clusters. Um, real tiny little one with a couple little tickets in them. So, yeah, so they all come in handy, don't they? And it was amazing um, with the journals I've been making the last few months, how much ephemera and stuff I used that I didn't even have. So how tiny is this little envelope with a little tag in it? Going to have seed beads on there. So they just all go in here. And, of course, the wrapping paper I've made into a little envelope, which will be used in a journal. And just pretty it up a little bit. And then I've made a um, paper bag from wrapping paper. Okay. And I used one of my dry flowers and I've just stitched it 
um, on those plastic sleeves to stitch it around it and use that as a for the front with some seam binding. And in here, I've made the envelope um, belly band. Some some you can use, some you can't. Oh, look, there's another one. There we go. So that'll be good on a page. So, yes, I'll be making little bits and pieces. Is it snowing? Um, back from the next week, getting cold again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, candle wax to try. Well, you know, um, when I started Peugeot, I actually grated the candle on each piece and then put the iron on. I don't do that anymore. I actually heat the paper up first. I heat the paper with uh, the iron and then I use my whole candle and go over it because the heat will melt it straight away and then go over with the iron. Much better, much better. I actually bought some... Um, candles, rose scented and lavender scented. So, and I've got a big pile to do, big pile. So, I think that was about it. I think I just wanted to come on quick to. Um, I was going to do a bit of crafting. I get a bit nervous when um, all the eyes are watching me. Isn't that terrible? So, yeah, so um, I've got a couple of things to go in my Etsy, but that'll be a different video. Was there anything else? Um, okay, for the... Yes, it's much easier because um, the grating after a while gets a bit hard on your, well, on me, on my wrist, and um, I find by just using the candle and rubbing it on, yeah, um, much better. Like that. That and that. So yeah, so try the slides. I mean, how cool are they? Just gotta clean up some of this mess here. Well, not mess, but you know what I mean. And so you know, I use just some um, cardstock here, and I've just cut out some little hearts for my little envelopes which, of course, is just this scrappy piece of paper. I mean, we all know how to make them, don't we? I mean, I don't have to show you that. You'll end up getting, it gets a bit boring after a while. So, but that's all I do, okay? And if I want one that just flips out, that's great, but that's too long. So I might just have to do like that there we go and then I can just pop a heart well that's hearts a bit that that envelopes a bit too small for that but if you now get my drift just like that Told you I get nervous when I do a live. Here you go, and it comes up like that. Pretty cool, eh? Right? I like doing them. I take these away when I, when we go away, which is going to happen soon, very soon again, and um, then I can just you know get carried away with them. So try them, and then my next project is going to be um, another one of these covers because I made so many in advance. This was a, I think it was a blue one, file folder. And this is going to be used, this is going to be like an ephemera folder. So I'm going to make it so that it holds a lot of pockets, a lot of tags, and I'll probably put that in my Etsy as well, but I just love the feel of it. So because um, I've got some left over, you can only just see the blue through there. Okay. I can cut these up and put a couple of pockets on here. Okay. And it'll probably have um, either magnetic closure or just a tight closure. I'm not sure yet. But I've already been collecting stuff where I can make um, ephemera with 
It might have a little journal in it. I'm not sure. Um, but, yes, but I've just um, really enjoyed making these. I've, I think I've got one more left. So what are you going to do with yours? So what are you going? What are you going to do with yours, uh, Persia? Oh, I got a glut. Look at that! I didn't even know I had these bags in here, and I was looking for a CD cover. See how organised I am? Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this will be a good one to um, alter too, wouldn't it? It's a bit torn there, but that's okay. Fix that up. So what can we do here? Have I got one that's... Uh, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to strengthen that. I've got some paper here that's just... Um, Scrap. I suppose I better measure it. And if I put that in here, I'll strengthen it. I just use my glue. So um, I just finished this down my body. Yes, I saw um, the video come up. I'm yet to watch it. I had a little sneak peek and I'm going, oh, no, I need a cup of tea to watch this. So I'll watch it. I like how you um, do your journals. So that's my that bit stronger, but that didn't help that little bit, did it? Okay. Now, someone to someone um, you can even emboss this, you know. And. I would like to try it. Do you think I should try? Um, chat. Yeah. I wonder if I can just try. Right, okay, here we go. Let's try. I can only muck it up, can't I? I can only muck it up. And no, I didn't buy this, believe it or not. This was gifted to me by the family member in um, uh, Queensland. And it's a, um, a big shot. So I was very, very lucky. Very lucky. I've always got a job in my memory. had to, had to um, I might do the other side. See, I don't, I don't use this very often, and by the time I use it again, I've forgotten how to use it. I mean, classic, isn't it? Absolute classic. So, I have got it. I've even tried embossing on a Coca-Cola can. And the reason I did that is I wanted to try to make book corners for my journals because it's very soft, um, you know, aluminium. My brother um, gave me that idea and I should be able to. I haven't tried it yet. Cut that with my punch. But, yes, make book corners, um, metal book corners. So I'm going to try that. 
I thought I'd show you. That's from a Coca-Cola can. So I'm just going to go and get my embossing so I can put this back in here and be happy. Okay, now. I've been using this one for, for so long. This is the one that makes this really pretty pattern. Got to make sure I put the right side up. Can I do it that way or is it that way? Okay, here we go. Hopefully it'll fit in there. Because if it doesn't, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Hope it works. Okay. Well, it's only paper, isn't it? It's only paper. Hi, Katie. Uh. Oh, hi, Bev. <laughs> oh, you sneak. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try the CD folder. I'm going to see if this goes in here first. They don't look too close, um, Bev, because I'm probably doing it wrong, but, you know, Let's see if this comes out on the CD. box under my bench so you can see that you can't see that but I didn't want that much on there I want it on here but I think I've had it the wrong way around oh no okay now what I saw someone do was I think it was um, Laurie from Girl on the Ridge I'm sure she needs to be. I'm only experimenting here. I don't know if it's going to work. She had a, um, Laurie had a dress form and she put that in the, on the CD, on this plastic, and it printed out this, the dress form and then she just inked it up. To see it, and then when you put a piece of paper in it, no, oh, it's not going to do anything, does it? Okay. Well, that didn't work. Does it need to be white? Unbelievable. Does it need to be white? She made it look so easy, but it didn't come out really good. That's a bummer. What about if I do a uh, pink? Maybe I've got to use... Um, this is a trial, ladies. This is a trial. I know she used, um, she inked it up, but it doesn't, doesn't do much, does it? No? Wrong ink. Don't laugh, ladies, don't laugh. Maybe I need distress ink. Let's do blue. If all end fails, I'll take that out. Uh, 
I don't know if she did that. I'll have to watch the video again. She made it look so easy. Well, she didn't actually demonstrate it. She just... No, didn't work. There you go. I'll just put some, just ruin that, that's all. Just take that off. Have you got any stays on? Should do it. Um, no, I don't. I don't buy many inks, Bev. I only use the oxide. It's probably what she used, but that's exactly how she did it. She, um, Laurie just um, put it in the folder in between and in, in, in imprinted a dress form. And um, and then she went over with pink and it really stood out really pretty. But that's okay. I'm just going to um, use it as plan B. Won't go to waste. Okay. So I've just shown you how not to do it. Okay. All right. So what else have I done? Oh yeah, this goes. This is the tag. I've been using um, some die cuts here to make frames for my journaling cards. Don't worry about this one. And I've just put it there because whatever I cut out, I keep to make a tag um, for my next project so I don't lose it. All right, everyone. This is, as you saw, my little projects. Those film slides, definitely give them a go, Persia. And a lot easier. And what I did was when I stuck the um, film on, I, um, oh, does it work on glass, does it, Bev? Oh, okay, and tiles. Yeah, I might have to look into it. Maybe if I can get it secondhand <laughs> from an op shop. I don't think so. Um, yes, Peugeot, give them a go because I just used the double-sided real narrow tape to put the um, plastic on and then I put the, um, you know, sticky tape, two-sided tape around each frame and then I was able to attach the the plastic film on and then pop the other slide on top. Okay. Were you here, Bev, when I showed the um, the altered slides? Oh, Laurie had it embossed with a paste. Oh, thank you, um, Sarita. Sarita, is it? Um, thank you. Okay. Um, Okay. Um, Bev, did you see the slides, the altered slides? Before I, before I go, I thought I'd share that with you. These are film slides. Oh, good on you, Pojo. Yeah. Um, they're definitely, they're definitely um, the go. I just, I'm just feeling in love with them. I mean, how cool, you know? So, yes, but I can't get an island through there. So I'll have to use braids to be able to attach them to something and make them swivel around. So, yeah. And, you know, you can put anything in them, but I just thought I might as well use these. They're too small for tuck spots. And um, I'll just use the large ones for tuck spots. All right, ladies. Thanks for popping in. Um, that has to, I'll have to, with paste, see? Okay. I wonder if you can do that with, could I do that paste with gesso? Uh, where's that lady that said, Sarita Sales. Um, paste, had it embossed with a paste. Okay. I wouldn't be able to do the, um, Oh, okay, Beth, you know about the films, yeah. All right, okay. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to tear this out. It's 
sort of make it look raggedy. And then I'll put a um, photo in it so I can use the bag because I don't like the look of that. But it was worth a try, eh? You don't, you don't know if you don't give it a go. All right, ladies, I'll let you go. It's getting late here. Thanks for popping in, Bev. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a um it was just a spur of the moment. I just wanted to share my stuff and and um well, I'm making and i I've got another um couple of projects I want to finish off and also um I'm gonna do a bit of destash on some of my fabrics. I've got a big box full of it already, so um Have you got a thin vellum? Oh, hi, Katie. Oh, Bev. Um, yeah, um, the vellum, uh, where is it? Yes, I've tried with it. I actually, I did one with vellum. Here we go. I think this is vellum. Um, I don't know whether it was you that gave it to me or whether it was in Happy Mail. And I embossed that. And I just did the... Um, Pink ink, uh, they used some pink ink on it and that come up really cool. I didn't want to emboss the, the top part, I just wanted to emboss the back and that's just going to be clipped on a page. So, yeah, that came out pretty good, didn't it? I think so. And I just inked the raggedy edge, I like the raggedy edge. And um, I've got to make another grunge, real, real grunge journal again. Um, because I really enjoy the grunge and all these will go in it because they're going to be all grunge. So, yeah, so I did try them, Kate. Okay. Yep. Bye-bye, Persia. Thanks for popping in. Stay warm. Hope you're not getting too much snow and snow under while we melt in our heat here. It's really, it's been, we've been really hot. We've had some rain, but only 13 mils, which is nothing really. And, um... But anyway, it's better than nothing for the garden, so, yeah. All right, I'll let you all go. And um, thanks for popping in, supporting my little channel. Yes, it does um, It does uh, come out white, and then I just ink it, Bev, so that's pretty cool. That's all right. Um, thanks for popping in, Persia, and also, um, Siobhan, if you're still there, Sarita, and, um, oh, you love heat. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so do I, but sometimes it gets a bit much. You want a bit of a break from it. And uh, so do my veggies. So I've planted a lot of seedlings um, ready for the winter crop. So anyway, enough babbling on. Just sharing, just coming on, practicing my lives again. I'm not sure I'd like to do them on a regular basis, but it's it's um sometimes weekends is probably the best time for me. All the best and look, have a great night. Have a um good week ahead. Stay safe and be happy and keep crafting. Bye for now.